Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. wait. It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg, at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the uh, P- Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to talk Monday Night Raw. And with me is my compatriot that does the same thing from Poughkeepsie, New York. He's the only Mayhemmer with a uh, future Endeavor letter from the WWE. It is Mad Mike. Um, Hi. So, so, uh, hi. <laughs> so, 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 Sorg, um... Which 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 uh two oh five live superstar did you adopt? <laughs> yes, welcome also to uh our our first edition of Adopt a Cruiserweight, which is apparently the policy on Monday Night Raw, Mike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um I I think Drew Gulak is a stray <laughs> that just that just wandered onto the show mm-hmm. and no one's claimed him yet. Wait, so so, was, I, would, I missed. I, where I did, think I think Chad Gable should claim him. Where did he? The, they're where, both very American. Wait, did he pop up tonight? Yeah, he was in the beginning again. Oh, I, I missed the first 20, 25 minutes, unfortunately. Ah, so okay, okay. So he was part yeah. of like the mob that got beat up by the Shield with axe handles. Yeah, yeah. Um. All right, Tina says oh. she missed about half the show. Uh, yes, yeah, so we had a repeat of the end of last week. But instead, the Shield showed up, beat up uh, all the bad guys on the roster with axe handles. We had a repeat of a lot of last week. Yeah, we did. Well, it was so good last week, we just kind of... I was it? it? I, I will contend it was a very good Raw last week. The internet disagrees with me. Uh, but I was I was interested in going into tonight. And then I kind of was distracted by a lot of things. So I honestly uh, I was not a super, super 100% into tonight. Um, so... Yeah, we're getting some interesting uh, comments in the chat room as well. Uh, we we did get Ronda Rousey in a match on Raw. Yes, we we sure did. Oh wait, wait, wait let's roll back because we're talking about the adopt the cruiserweight. We didn't explain it since Cena wasn't uh, and uh, didn't see the entire thing. Um, uh, she says she didn't get home until like six thirty, and I can't do time zone math right now. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> uh, Sorry, that's, that's nine thirty hours. Is time. that nine thirty hour time? So it was about so, half of it. So she saw the my man of the hour. Oh my man! So last of the week, hour. last week we had Drake Drake uh, Maverick coming out with a shield, um, which I finally figured out he's the Spike Dudley of the group. Got it. It it, it makes sense. Um, but like when Spike I don't Dudley, think so, he's, he's not going to wrestle. Well, uh, you don't know that, but he could, but he could very I don't think well. He, I don't think he will. It may unless, not be the intention, but you never know. Well, uh, the other thing I'm thinking, and I really don't want this to be true, is that 205 Live may be going away. <gasps> oh, geez. I'm, I'm just saying. So we're, we're reintegrating everybody. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe after Hell in a Cell, you see Paige make an announcement that the Cruiserweight title will be defended on SmackDown. Ooh. I don't, I don't know anything. It, it seems odd. Okay. Because I know they have NXT UK coming out. And that's another program and everything. And, and also Mixed Match Challenge is coming back. Right. And it's going to be so, longer, too. Yep. With two matches every week, um. So maybe, uh. So maybe, it, and then Leo Rush uh, apparently is motivating Bobby Lashley. Um. Which uh, honestly is one of my favorite points of the night. I. I I don't get any of this. I, I really don't like. On two hundred five live, Leo Rush is a heel. Mm-hmm. On Raw, he's with a face. Uh, and he's kind of a famous B of this. But he's still with a face. Mm-hmm. On 205, Drake is a face. AOP or heels. I, 
We'll I don't see. think I don't think anyone who watches Raw also watches 205. Live. Maybe not. They're different ecosystems. Um, also from tonight, okay, let's roll back into that. Ronda Rousey did wrestle tonight. It was a tag team match. Yeah, it was. It was fine. It was fine. It was fine. But she's wrestling, Mike. It's happening. Uh, was was she? She was doing things and with arms. Yeah, yeah. I. I'm not, Mike, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have faith in this experiment if she doesn't have three months to practice a match. Mike, Mike, I am, I'm, 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 I'm grasping. You're, you're grasping at straws, I get it. No, 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 I'm grasping at, at a lack of enthusiasm with you tonight. You're not even angry about stuff. This Raw did nothing for me. What about Alicia Fox's outfit? Alicia Fox looks amazing, always does. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I got something out of you. I'm happy now. Alicia Fox always looks amazing. And is always relegated to never hearing her music ever again. All right, uh, let's continue with. Uh, let's go the other way down. Uh, you got you got Triple H selling the uh, match of the Sorg. Other I don't want to talk about anyone over forty. Okay, so we'll cross that out. What about <laughs> Mick Foley? What about Mick Foley? I don't care about Mick Foley. I don't care. Elias was a hundred percent right. <laughs> what does he add? You know what he adds to Hell in a Cell. Do you want to know what he adds to it? Do you want to know, Sorg? I... Spoiler alert, Braun is going to throw him through the side of the panel. That's why he's there, because he can't do it to Roman. As a throwing object? Yes. Hmm. That's why he's going to be there. Interesting. That's the only reason. Who does he socko? No one. No one? He doesn't socko no Braun? One. Nope. No. Braun's not taking that shit. If he was going to socko anyone, it would have been Dolph Ziggler tonight. That's true. That's it would have been the cheese and bacon mac and cheese. <laughs> All right. So what else stuck out or or fell flat for you tonight? I, <sighs> Finn Balor in a random match. Raw only has three matches on this pay-per-view. Really? Raw only has three matches. I double-checked the Wikipedia before and we, we made And we made one of them tonight. Yep, and we made one of them tonight. And we're still a four-hour pay-per-view, right? Yep, and there's no Intercontinental title match because once you're in the Shield, you're not allowed to defend mid-card titles. See also Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose was the U.S. title for, like, the U.S. champion for, like, eight months, never defended it. This is true. This is true. So we're going along with this idea. But they are going to get a, uh, a title defense. Or what I'm sorry, a title, a title shot. Why, why doesn't the Revival get a shot? Because they're not they, the shield. Yeah, I know. And they probably got beat up with an axe handle tonight. No, no, they weren't even out there. They weren't even out there. A no. AOP did. AOP got yeah, jobbed out which is axe great. Handles. That's that's good. That's good. None of this is good. I want the sh I want all of the shield to go away again. Jeez. I'm done. I'm done with it. Oh man, already. I I am fucking done with it already. Even even the semantic of uh, we're not the shield. We're just uh. We're just all, no, we're just, no, they're uh, the, they're the fucking shield. Like Roman changes SWAT vests. Yes. He changes SWAT vests to be guy we kind of like to guy we really hate. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, the, I mean, and and the whole bullshit with Baron Corbin. What was that? Cause spoil, cause spoiler alert: the shield. Did start a riot last week. They were wearing riot gear. Mm -hmm. And you know who else starts a riot all the time? Ruby Riot. Our <laughs> <laughs> this is fair. Uh, we do. Tina wants to know our thoughts on um, the permanent addition of Renee on commentary. Only good thing on Raw. Only good thing on Raw. Only good thing on Raw, but Renee needs to calm down with some of her stuff. I think it's good. It has an energy she, to it. She's she's eighty five percent fine. Eighty five percent fine. But every time I hear Renee say "Come on," I want to like just no, just stop that, Nene. Well, just, again, I wanna, I wanna, I want I just like, wanna like you're like you're not on the pre show anymore, Renee. You're not on talking <laughs> smack. You can't just say "Come on." I I, I also want to like, point out for for reasons that we can't discuss here, Mad Mike may be hypersensitive to some things with Raw. 
which is make it, I mean, I don't know. Maybe no, this no, is bearing on you. No, this has nothing to do with that. It's just, it's just something I notice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Some, you're, no, you're, no, no, like, you're noticing a lot lately. No, but like even, even Michael Cole, um, when Finn Balor won his match, Renee was cheering for him, and Michael Cole corrected Renee on the air not to cheer. Really? Yeah, because you're not supposed to cheer if you're an announcer. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not saying there aren't going to be some growing pains with Renee. I trust me. If it's a world of Renee talking for three hours and Coach talking for three minutes, I will take Renee in a fucking heartbeat. So, in, a, in a fucking heartbeat. Renee is worlds better than Coach ever mm-hmm. was. But there are some things that don't jive with me when I listen to Raw. Mm-hmm. That's all. Okay. All right. Uh, well, enjoyed enjoyed that. Uh, um, oh, what was the other thing? Tyler Breeze. It was good to see him pop up, especially after seeing him as, as a surprise at NXT on uh, Friday here in Pittsburgh. Um, yeah, I kind of wish he stayed in NXT. I, I know, right? I, uh, I kind of wish he stayed in NXT. I, I think it might have been mainstream. Matt that tweeted that uh, this uh, him and Kevin Owens could have been a takeover uh, main event at some point. It still can be. Mm-hmm. Both mm-hmm. these guys can just leave Raw and go main event the next takeover. I'd be 100% on board. There's got to be a time where some of these guys just roll back to NXT, right? Like Zack Ryder did it. I want Luke Harper to do it so badly. Mm-hmm. I want I want a Luke Harper and Ciampa match more than I can breathe. Oof. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. And Luke yeah. Harper did. He showed up at the Buffalo show apparently Thursday I, night. I know. That's what I heard. Yeah. I'm like, let, let's just, while Rowan's recovering, mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's let's just do a three month program of Harper and Champa, please, <laughs> fucking please. That'd be amazing. Oh my god, yeah, just sign me the fuck up for it. <laughs> I'm I'm ready. My body is ready for it. So Alex is saying that there's a photo of Renee and Dean texting during the show. Hey, at least they're of on course. the same brand. Uh, of course there is. Pay attention to the show. Coach tweeted during the show too. Don't be a coach. I, I think everybody did, and I think they're supposed to, like, to a certain point, keep an eye on social I, media and respond to things. I, no, no, they have people to do that for them. Or at least they, they're communicating those bits. So I know JBL would always would, would uh, uh, social media during the show. And do we really want another JBL? I, okay, that wasn't the point <laughs> I was getting to, <laughs> but okay. You're, you're naming all bad commentaries that do this. Oh, jeez. Do you see Corey doing this? Uh, no, because Corey's watching the show. <laughs> Corey's watching the program. I should not name commentators that I work with on the independent circuit. Got it. Yes. <laughs> don't. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to stooge anyone off. But no, you know. no, no, no. It happens. But I'm, yeah. I'm just saying, like, lead commentators don't do that. Michael Cole doesn't do that. That is true. Like unless it was during a commercial break, in which case I apologize. I think all of, I think all of them probably do at some point there. Like I, I'm not saying they're doing it during the show. I'm I'm saying that I think I think Coach did. During you think the Coach show. did it during the show? Yeah, he would. Hundred percent. He would if anybody would. He definitely tweeted during the show. I guarantee it. All right. I don't know if there's anything else to get out of you for this show. Uh, we there, had there we wasn't had, there wasn't a whole lot that happened. We had some angry Bron- Braun. We had our Elias spot. He's getting he's getting more and more sol- guitar solo time every week. Yeah, uh, he finally had a match this week, which was nice. Mm-hmm. He lost, but he had a match. Okay. But, I mean, there are just so many got Like, if you're not in the Shield or Bacon Mac and Cheese, there is literally nothing for anyone on Raw. Or if your name... or No, I'm serious. If your name isn't Ronda Rousey, the Shield, or Bacon Mac and Cheese, that's it. Tina, Tina just says, okay, the logic of getting a judge on a government holiday last week, Raw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, all of that. None of that tracked. None of that tracked very well. Well, it's I, of, I. And again, I go to, I, 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 again, I go to. This is the same wrestling world where Sting and Dick Sluger pop, hopped in a stole a police car and just showed up the next week without problems. Uh, well, so. I mean, the Shield did the same thing. Exactly, exactly. I, and you weird. know, you know what sucks is that. They attempt to do some cool things sometimes, mm-hmm. and then they just nip it in the bud. Like, could you imagine if Braun, if Bacon Mac and Cheese was actually leading all <laughs> Explain. of the rules on Raw? Real quick, real quick explanation of Bacon Mac and Cheese, if in okay. case there's some new listeners. Ba- bacon Mac and Cheese is Braun, Drew, and Dolph because Braun is the bacon, Drew is the Mac, and Dolph is the cheese. Yes. 
Yeah, I've been told I don't have to explain why Dolph is the cheese. Uh, no, uh, you can leave that. Yeah, no, it's fair. His hair looks like cheese. He's cheesy. You know, You're explaining all, it. <laughs> it's all there. It's all a rich tapestry. But um, imagine if they actually were leading all. all of those heels like that would be really cool mm -hmm. like a cabal but, of a cabal of bad guys yeah because let's face it the shield are assholes mm -hmm. they're assholes like they're, they're not good people the shield never comes to the aid of anyone else it's kind of it's kind of like and, and i was sad that there wasn't a connection of like finn and the shield and even there's fan art this week of finn as part of the shield after how sorg, I, last week sorg. shook out sorg of course there is there's there's been fan art of shield the shield and finn since 2006 before yes. either of them existed and i'm sure there's other things with fan fiction that we won't get into here uh, I'm sure Jen Carlins can tell us all about mm, it. Absolutely. Uh, yes. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think it's, you know, it, it goes to, you're saying, like, yeah, the shield are the assholes and, and the bad guys uh, and, and the heels are the only ones that see it. It's kind of like how uh, Bobby Heenan was right about Hulk Hogan the whole time. Yep. Um, heels should never be right. Mm -hmm. Heels should never be right. They should always think they're right, but they should never be actually right. Mm. No, heels should never be right. And oh, can we can we stop getting fifteen minute promos of two guys talking to each other through a television show every week? Because Triple H was tonight, Taker's next week. I wonder what's going to be the week after that. Oh boy, is yeah. it, is it going to be Triple H? It's going to be. I Sean think it's going to be. It's going to be Sean again. Uh, Alex is asking quick question. Do you think Roman uh, wins this Sunday? And uh, why why did they get Hell in a Cell and not AJ versus Samoa Joe? Uh, of course, Roman wins this Sunday. Mm -hmm. Of course, Lol, Roman wins. You you even add a face special guest referee. Oh no, no, oh no, Sorg, Sorg, Sorg. Do you think they do a double pin? What's the next pay per view? Survivor Series. Yeah. Hmm. Or they or they could do something. They could do something to set you up for Australia, like they did uh, Mania to Saudi Arabia. Oh God, you're right. Mm -hmm. Well, at, at at um, um, at Super Showdown, Super House Showdown, it's uh, the Shields versus Bacon Mac and Cheese. No way. Yeah. They, oh yeah. That's that was booked like a couple weeks ago, okay. which is a better match that they should be talking about, but mm -hmm. they're not gonna. Well, you gotta get um, past. You gotta get past this week to set that up. Yeah, I guess, but um. All of the raw titles are involved in that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's really, yeah, that's really kind of sad. Oh, that's really sad. Like, uh, like I think I even said last week. Well, it was sure nice seeing the tag titles defend, like defended by mid carters while we had a chance. <laughs> and like I, someone, I don't remember if it was on the show or somewhere in real life. They're like, well, at least the Shield's not getting the title shot. I'm like, just wait. Uh, they were in New Orleans tonight, and I gotta ask because it was brought up because Tina's talking about Jen and her me memories of the smoother. Um, oh, the smoother, Sorg! We're in the smoother tonight. I forgot to mention we were in the smoother. There's the, I should have started with that. I would have had more enthusiasm at the top of the show. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, but then I would have gotten dejected because when I when I got into the smoother. I started singing Ember Moon's theme song, and Ember Moon was not on Raw tonight. Aww. There was no progression of the Dana Brooks storyline. No, no. By the way, Sorg, I had a revelation. All right? This is going to blow your mind wide open. Are you ready? Ready. Do you remember the Dana Brooks storyline from last week? Sort of. Okay, where, where Dana said she was dumb with Apollo and Titus? Yes. All right. The Dana Brooks storyline is the exact same exact same story as the Rusev Day storyline, but Dana is Rusev. It's Dana Day? It's Dana Day. I, she might sell more calendars. It's so. Dana Day Laney. Da, uh, I don't know. No, no. no, no Dana no. Delaney. That, that reference doesn't work in 2018. I'm sorry about that. That, that was just terrible. And uh, why doesn't, why doesn't uh, AJ and Joe get on a cell? Well, because they're on SmackDown. Yeah, 
Yeah. And and there can only be but one get... real Hell in a Cell match per show. And Jeff Hardy's wanted to do a Hell in a Cell match since he came back to WWE. That's right. And so, you know he's going to jump off of something. Oh, yeah, he is. Mm-hmm. But uh, on the plus side, maybe this means Jeff Hardy will retire afterwards. <laughs> Jeez. No, I'm serious. To preserve his body so he can t- better take care of his kids. He's over 40. He shouldn't be jumping off cells at his age. Yes, we we I, I, we we know the discussions where he talks about when he does a swanton and he doesn't pull it anymore. <laughs> yeah, he calls it a crouton. Yeah. <laughs> he calls it a crouton. He said that on the Edge and Christian show. Mad Mike. Yeah. How much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? Ooh, 35 minutes. 35 minutes. I want to go a flat hour and a half given I didn't see the first 25 minutes. You didn't miss much. Mm. I like giant brawls where three people squash it, squashes, ho- squashes, squashes half the oh, roster. I don't, I don't like that at all because why would I care about AOP now? Why would I care about Kevin Owens now? Why would I care it's about been, any of the heels? It's been fascinating um, uh, to this um, to this effect a little bit. Like uh, there was a, uh, uh, I was watching the, listening to the uh, Eric Bischoff. Uh, podcast 83 weeks on the first WCW Nitro and there was um, focus groups talking about how pull aparts were one of the highlights of course yeah yeah and and that's not inaccurate but they also don't do a hell of a lot storytelling wise no in fact they don't do anything and they make some of your lower card talent look weak as hell by comparison depends on how they're conducted but anyways if you do yeah. like an actual pull out part and not like Braun's going to destroy half the roster to get to this guy, yeah. By the, by the way, it was good to see that Seth um, didn't have any like lingering injuries from the uh, from the arm through the window last week. Oh, good. I, I was actually worried about that because like something like that. That was what happened with with uh, Goldberg, mm-hmm. where he had like, uh, some slight nerve damage and stuff like that. So it doesn't seem like Seth has any ill effects from it. So that's good. that's good news. Good. All right. Uh, and with that, thank you guys, everybody in the chat room, uh, Alex and Tina and, uh, Belale, hi, uh, Brandon, uh, Wheels, uh, Justin out there. Uh, thanks so much for checking this out. Again, you can subscribe to everything on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed on your podcast catcher or check out the video on Facebook Live or on the YouTube page or check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Tomorrow we had a schedule change. We're going to have Chris LaRusso joining us on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, we got to make sure Bobby's on as well, right, Mike? Yeah, absolutely. So, Bobby, puppets, the whole nine yards. So... Um, and, uh, then in the coming weeks, we'll have our thrifty podcast guys join us. We just also scheduled, uh, that this Friday, but next Friday, we're going to have another Brohemoth invitational that we're working on. going to be something a little different. Uh, that'll be over on the indie wrestling Twitch page. And of course, of course, please check out everything else, including the indie wrestling, uh, dot us network at indie wrestling dot us, uh, just released the Virgil legend of Virgil. Uh, DVD over there. You can check it out with a free trial if you sign up today. A free seven-day trial. Uh, so go check that out. Mad Mike 4883 on the Twitters? Yes, indeed. And I will be back hopefully this Wednesday to watch more Lucha Underground and do the live tweet at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM. And by the way, we're going to talk about it on Lucha, but check out the live tweets. Check out fucking Lucha because the first 10 minutes of Lucha last week uh-huh. was amazing balls. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Until then, keep it raw. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media 